Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So many apps have desktop versions. But as you may well know, we also get our web versions of some apps, also referred to as progressive web apps. And I thought in this video, which I've actually been wanting to do for some time, just to kind of give you the benefits of web apps over desktop apps or the kind of native app versions in Windows and other platforms. Because web apps are something that I use, I would say that 90% of my apps are web-based um, on Windows. So just to go through a couple of the advantages of using web apps. Now I know there are disadvantages, there's always a bit of give and take, but just a couple of examples why I feel using a web app over a desktop app may be a nice move. Now, first of all, web apps do not have to be installed on the operating system or in the operating system. So they don't, they don't require an installation. And the benefit of this is this saves data if you're on a limited internet plan and you don't have to actually download the actual software to your device, which could also be a lengthy uh, process. But obviously one of the negatives with a web app is you need an internet connection for most web apps. There are one or two on Chromebooks that don't require a internet connection, but 99% of web apps obviously, as the name implies, are web-based. And then something else is that desktop apps require storage for downloads and installations, where web apps operate entirely within your browser. So if you are dealing with storage space issues or limited storage, replacing desktop apps with web-based um, apps could make a noticeable difference in regards to your storage. And just to give an example of what I'm talking about, if I head to my file explorer on this Windows 11 device, out of a 464 gigabyte SSD, I've got 352 gigabytes free. And that's because, as mentioned, most of my apps on any of my Windows devices are web-based. And then another advantage is that if an app is available on other operating systems you use, maybe you are using Mac Windows or um, Linux Windows as an example, its user interface can vary between devices. And this is especially noticeable between desktop and mobile apps. So with web apps, the interface remains, give or take, the same whether you use it on your phone, tablet or computer, which is actually something I quite enjoy about web apps. It just gives you a consistency across your different devices. And something else is that there's better cross-platform compatibility. Because not all app developers create desktop apps for every operating system, as you may well know. Which means a specific app you use on Windows might not be available on Mac OS, as an example. And web apps can be used as long as obviously you have an internet connection and a browser, regardless of your operating system. So that's why I think I am so kind of drawn to browsers, as you can see on the channel, is because because you can do everything in your browser these days that you can do as an example on your desktop computer so you've got all your apps in your browser you've got your storage in the cloud obviously there's a bit of privacy concerns with cloud storage and so on but just a couple of examples so another example with web apps is they can operate just like any native app to some extent or the other on your Windows device or your operating system where you can pin those to your taskbar and then they act very similar to a native app on your system and something else is that they don't have to be updated like conventional apps and that's because updates are automatically installed through the cloud-based system. So when I come to my YouTube music, when I open that up, or if I head into my Microsoft 365 online, 
all these apps are already updated to the latest and greatest, so to speak. I don't have to manually update them, and that's something else that I really enjoy um, about uh, web apps or PWAs. And another thing is you don't waste time or network resources downloading and installing the updates. And also you never get outdated software with web apps, which is another benefit, um, which I think is a nice step in the right direction. And then just two more to go for the purpose of this video is obviously the big one here is it saves you money. And that's a good reason why I use the Microsoft web apps because desktop apps require you to buy a license where web apps don't require that. They provide access to basic features for free and with the option to upgrade to a paid plan for advanced features later. But as you can see, that's so as you can see by Microsoft 365, just to mention another simple example. And then the last one for the purpose of this video is that desktop apps can be resource hungry on things like your RAM and your CPU processing power, where web apps run in your browser and most of the kind of workload is done in the cloud basically in remote servers pertaining to the actual app. So it's not computer resource intensive as far as I'm concerned using a web app over a so-called native app. But, but now with all that taken into consideration, obviously for professional software, you know, I would suggest that web apps may not offer the same level of stability as their so-called desktop counterparts. So there's always a bit of a give and take. But for me, as an average home user, I think web apps are the way to go. And tell me what you think down below in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.